Welcome to the Miller Lite Q&A podcast here on DK Pittsburgh Sports. I'm Dale Lally, joined by Matt Grubba, and uh, we're going to answer your questions here today on the uh, Miller Lite podcast. We have a question here from Donnie, uh, who asks, with the NHL playoffs and Major League Baseball regular season starting, the NFL draft, and also other sporting events like the NCAA title game at the start of the month and the Masters and NBA playoffs, is this the best month in sports? And if not, what month or time of year do you guys think is? Thank you. Uh, I have some interesting theories on that. I'm sure you do too, Matt, as uh, longtime sports writers. Uh, but if you're a fan of sports, this is a pretty good month. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, I mean, you get started with you're still coming off of March Madness too. With the, uh, I mean, to me, it, it it starts with that first weekend of the tournament and just rolls into April with all the events that right. we talked about in right. the question, the Masters, you know, things like that. Uh, and now we're getting into NBA playoffs, NHL. Uh, it, it's hard to go against it for year in, year out. Uh, you know, a time of year I always enjoy for sports is when you hit that summer just stretch there where you get to the British Open, Wimbledon, you know, baseball's in, in full swing. And in certain years, in this even numbered years, you usually have a big event, either an Olympics or a World Cup going on. And, you know, that part of summer, I think, always because to – it's summer, it's vacation a little bit, and myself, you know, having covered high school sports or now college sports so much in my career, there's a little lull there work-wise, too, so I can sit back and enjoy those summer events. Yeah, you know, for me, my favorite time of the year is really, uh, and this is going to sound strange, I like August. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, nothing beats training camp, uh, and I, I figured this out one day. I was sitting uh, at Sharky's in, in Latrobe, and... Every time I go in there, they already have my my beer is already up on the bar, and somebody says, "Wow, they you guys they really know you guys here." I said, "This is my hometown bar." I said, "You don't understand. Mm-hmm. I spend more time here than I do anywhere else, any other place anywhere else, because I'm I'm basically I've now spent 25 months of my life yeah in Latrobe. Uh, <laughs> so you know, when you it's my hometown it place. Way, that, when you think and, about it that way, yeah. that is. Uh, you know. I don't take a TV to training camp. I don't. All I do, I'm, I get immersed in the work. Uh-huh. You, it's perfect. You roll out of bed. They have people there that come in and make your bed for you. They bring you fresh towels. I can walk over to the cafeteria and eat. And then you know we go out and maybe have a drink and watch a pirate game at night. Uh, or they have you know some other stuff on news from other training camps that kind of stuff. So personally for me, I enjoy that um, that time of year. Plus everybody's new and you've got a whole bunch yeah. of story story ideas. Um, and, but I, I can see where for sports ban- fans, if you're really looking for something like that, I think the only other month that might come close to this might be December slash January when you have all the bowl games. Yeah. The NFL playoffs are starting. The hockey seasons it really in play. Yeah, hockey, NBA, NBA, college, uh, college basketballs in, in full uh, swing. I know it's not in your your interest level too, but also the Boxing Day soccer games for the fans. There you, know, you in go. England, that's it's always a big time of year for that. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, you know Christmas time is always good, and usually you're home with family. You, you also right, have some downtime right. there. You know, m- much like my summer answer, you get to actually sit back and watch some of it. You're not. You know, in our case, working at it, or you, you know, anybody who else else who is working a nine to five, that sort of thing. Hey, you can just you know sit down, be a fan, not be bothered by things other than the turkey in the oven or something like that. But realistically, any month is really a good month for sports. It just mm-hmm. depends on you know what you want to watch. I mean, there's NASCAR, there's UFC yeah. fights year round, that kind of stuff. Um, there's only really, uh, and you know this from being a newspaper guy like myself, there's only like three days out of each year. Yeah. where there's no sports, right around the All-Star games. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when they have those All-Star games, nothing happens. It's like it's like the dead time uh, for new, for the newspaper business. But, uh, yeah, I, I would I would agree with Donnie. I think March is really, uh, you know, March and early April are, are really great times of the year. Uh, everything's new in, in the NHL playoffs. Everything's new with baseball. You get everything going on, and it's a fun time. For sure, for sure. And, and, you know, one more on that. This being my first year since college, you got spring football if you're a college fan. That's uh, that's another thing. And that's that, a big uh, deal in some places. Know, the, more, the, more I, <laughs> the more I see our uh, questions on the uh, on the comments in our, on our site, I realize, you know, hey, people, uh, you know, still love their college football, love their spring football. And I guess our, our second segment, we're going to touch on that a little, right? Yep. And uh, if you have questions you want to hear answered on the Miller Lite Q&A podcast, uh, put them on the, uh, the bottom of this podcast or uh, – When we place another ad out for this one, go ahead and put them on there. We'll answer them here on the air. Mm -hmm. He's Matt Grubba. I'm Dale Lally. We'll be back in just a moment. (music) 
Miller Light is the original light beer, and we'll always brew it to have more taste, with only 96 calories and 3.2 carbs. Because we believe that if you compromise on taste, you can taste the compromise. Miller Light. Hold true. Great beer, great responsibility. 2018 Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Average analysis, 12 fluid ounces. Less than one gram protein, zero grams fat. If you're one of the thousands of Western Pennsylvanians who love to get outdoors, then you need to check out this cool new website, stepoutside.org. Learn where, when, and how you can go camping, hiking, or hunting. Or take part in power sports, shooting sports, or water sports in your local community or across the country at stepoutside.org, where everything you need to know is just a click away. That's stepoutside.org. What I want from my public accounting firm is big ideas. But I don't want to lose the personal attention. My company needs global capabilities. From a firm with local ownership. And I want to work with industry experts. Who take the time to understand my unique challenges. And that's what sets Schneider Downs apart. Expertise for the most complex business issues. With the service you need every day. To learn how our big thinking with a personal focus can help your company, visit schneiderdowns.com. Injured in an accident? Need assistance in preserving your business's interests? Let the attorneys at Bassey, Vreeland & Associates protect your legal rights. For over 65 years, Bassey, Vreeland & Associates has been representing the citizens and businesses of southwestern Pennsylvania. With offices strategically located in Washington and Shalleroy, Bassey, Vreeland & Associates can deliver results for you throughout the Pittsburgh area. Visit www.bmvlaw.com or call 724-228-7000 to see how Bassey, Vreeland & Associates can meet your legal needs. Bassey, Vreeland & Associates we fight, we care, we win. Welcome back to the Miller Lite Q&A podcast here on DK Pittsburgh Sports Radio. I'm Matt Grubba alongside Dale Lally as we hit our second question of the podcast. Uh, this one comes uh, actually off my spring game story uh, from Pitt and uh you know, it is a valid question here by Mario Mera 8, and he asks, and he starts it out saying, this is a legit question, not a pot shot at Pitt, which <laughs> it, it's, it's nice that he prefaces it, but he asks, what is it going to take to get people to come out and watch this team? Pitt fans will argue they're a top-tier football program, but they aren't. Put 60,000 people in the stands every week for a decade, and maybe you will be, but they aren't right now. So... Dale, even though I, I'm the Pitt grad, you've been in the city much longer than I have and uh, probably have some better memories of better years for Pitt. So, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? They need to win, first and foremost. I think, uh, it, you know, if, if you know anything about Pittsburgh sports, it's that this town supports a winner. Um, you know, as, as much as everybody calls this a hockey town or a Steelers town or a baseball town, no matter what it is, if you don't win, people are going to – stop paying attention to you as much we yeah. saw that with pit basketball mm -hmm. when they were good people showed up when they weren't good people didn't show up we saw it with uh even with the penguins if you think back to the years between mario lemieux and 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 sydney crosby um the penguins were drawing seven eight thousand yeah. people at the arena and it just it wasn't they weren't selling out all the time um so this town supports a winner everybody i mean that, that's just kind of the way it is everywhere I'm, I'm not picking on pittsburgh in particular but when you're in a pro city you better be good if you're especially if you're the college team if you're the fifth or sixth bet you know down on the tier you better be good because that core of fans isn't going to be as big as it is for the penguins as it is for the steelers as it is for the pirates so you better be able to put a winner on the on the field yeah you're right and, and i can attest to those years you're talking about the i, I call them the the, the dick the dick tarnstrom year uh, for the <laughs> penguins because that was when i was in college and you know they have those student rush tickets you could pop down there with your id for 20 bucks and get best available seats i don't know which how were, many which were probably center I, ice I, was two, two row, <laughs> I, I don't know if i ever got center ice but i was two rows off the glass uh, more than more than one occasion so yeah it, it was it's you know very much contingent upon how the team out there is doing you mentioned you know people say pittsburgh is football town hockey town baseball town i don't remember too many people saying it was a baseball time in my time living here because for the most of it the pirates have been terrible now that's picked up you know recent years the three straight playoff appearances but even that now the good start this year maybe they're stemming a little bit of it but if things don't go well come 
August, September. We'll see. How yeah, if if, uh, if August rolls around and the Pirates aren't in contention anymore, uh, it becomes Steeler season. It it is. You know, it and is. that's just the way it's go. It's it's been that way for a number of years. Uh, you know, those years where they kept everybody where they were still in contention, mm-hmm. um, people still went. People paid attention. Um, but it's just not going to happen unless you win, and that's the that's the trouble. It's it's difficult. It's, it's the conundrum that Pitt faces. You can't get the big time recruits without the crowds. Right, but you can't get the crowds without the big time recruits. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a really difficult thing to pull off. And, and that's the thing. The amazing thing about Pitt too is they still continue to churn out quality NFL players. Just not you know, they, just not they enough. Just, they not enough. Yeah. And so that's always I've always said that. You know, for all the people who clamor about uh, should still have an on-campus stadium, things like that. You know, I've always said that from a recruiting standpoint, sharing that facility with the Steelers is such a big, big sell for guys who want to get to that next level. Right, it is. That they, they can really, you know, lay into that. I don't think it's the on-campus thing. I think, you know, A, it is winning, but B, Pitt's never going to be the A number one ticket, and that is the nature of being in a metro area. I think of other programs, you know, around the country, you know, Miami football for the longest time. It, they had their run in the 80s, but even then – you know, were they ever ahead of the Dolphins, Never. Marino, that Never. sort of thing? You think St. John's basketball in New York. I mean, there are a lot of St. John's fans there, but you pick up the Daily News, you pick, you know, flip through, they're going to be the sixth story behind, you know, Rangers Isles, Knicks, certainly the Knicks, and, and you know, all, the, all the New York teams. So it's, it's tough in a city like this. So in terms of Pitt being a top-tier program, I, I ne- I've never been one who likes tying attendance to a top-tier program. But being a top tier program is about winning, and that uh, all three of them, I-, I think, are really like you said, they're one and the same. Absolutely. So that was a great question as well. Glad we were able to answer that one. And again, if you have a question for the Miller Lite Q and A podcast, place it at the bottom of this uh, podcast itself, and we'll come back and we'll get to it uh, the next time. For Matt Grubba, I'm Dale Lally. Thanks for listening.